Welcome to C Programming Lecture 4. In this lecture we will look into the use of arithmetic operators, assignment statement and arrays. Consider the electric circuit shown in the figure with three resistors connected in series. When an electric potential is applied between nodes A and B, an electric current will flow through all three resistors. The total resistance provided by these three resistors connected in series to the flow of the electric current will be the added up value of all three resistors. Quantities of same units can be arithmetically added up to compute the correct value. Let us write a C program that can receive the values of three resistors of same units through the keyboard. Calculate the equivalent resistance by adding the three values and display that value on the monitor. This C program receives three resistances of same units as input through keyboard. Calculate the equivalent resistance and display it on the monitor. In line 7, four integer variables are declared, namely R1, R2, R3 and R4. R1, R2, R3 are variables to store the input resistances. R4 is for storing the added up value of three input resistances. Note that same type of variables declaration can be done in a single line separated by commas. Print F statements in line 9 and 10. Display necessary messages on the monitor to make the program user friendly. Print F statement in line 12. Displays the message on the monitor about what type of resistance values to be input through the keyboard. Scan F statement in line 13. Receives the three integer inputs from the keyboard and store it in the R1, R2, R3 variables memory address locations, respectively. Line 15 is an assignment statement. Equals assignment operator is used to assign the computed value of the right hand side algebraic expression to the left hand side variable. In assignment statement. The values for all the variables used in the right hand side mathematical expression must be available to be computed as a numerical value to be assigned to the left hand side variable. So, when you write any assignment statement check whether the variables are declared at the beginning of the respective function. Here, it is the main function. And also make sure that the numerical values of all the variables appearing in the right hand side mathematical expression are available either through the input or calculated earlier in the program. In line 15 assignment statement, right hand side mathematical expression adds up three integer values of the R1, R2 and R3 variables using addition arithmetic operator plus. After the computation of the right hand side mathematical expression, the resulting integer value will be stored in the memory address location of the R4 integer variable, which is the left hand side variable of this assignment statement. Printf statement in line 17 displays the calculated equivalent resistance in a user friendly way. Note that the input three resistances are also displayed on the monitor in an appropriate way, along with the calculated equivalent resistance. Number of values provided in the printf statement must be equal to the number and the type of specifications written in the first string item within the parenthesis. Display of the execution of the exe file, input three integer resistances and final output are shown in the inset window. This C program is the float version of the previous code that receives three resistances of same units as inputs through keyboard. Calculate the equivalent resistance and display it on the monitor. In line 7, four float variables are declared, namely R1, R2, R3 and R4. As the variables are declared as float, the input resistances can have decimal point values. Note in line 13 scan f statement, the float specifications are without any padding, or point specification or sign specification. It has to be simple like percent %f, and without any new line or tab space characters for accepting input numerical value. Common mistake in coding C programs is the mix up between the printf and scanf specifications. 
There is no difference in the assignment statement compared to the int version of the C program, as it is written in line 15. But, the computation will take place in floating point values, as the variables R1, R2 and R3 are declared as float. The assigned value to the left hand side variable, R4 will also be a float, as it is declared as a float. Finally in the printf statement as well, %.2f specifications are appropriately used to display the values of the float variables with two decimal place numbers. Display of the execution of the exe file, input three resistances and final output are shown in the inset window. This C program is an example of how similar quantities can be represented as an array. In the previous two C programming examples, for calculating the equivalent resistance of three resistors connected in series, we declared either four integer variables or four float variables. In this C program, in line 6, those four similar quantities are declared as an array. Note square brackets are used for representing arrays. This is similar to representing discrete quantities. Braces, parentheses and square brackets are used specifically for different things and features. The usage cannot be mixed. In C and C++ programming languages, arrays index start from zero. In line 6, declaration of integer array R, 4, means it has four elements, R, 0, R, 1, R, 2 and R, 3 respectively. Single integer quantity needs 4 bytes of RAM memory, so, integer array R with 4 integer elements will have 16 bytes of memory in total. Memory address of the elements are in sequence with respect to the size of a single element of the array. Hexadecimal numbers are used for representing memory addresses, adding 4 to the memory address of array element R, 0 will give the memory address of array element R, 1. Similarly, adding 8 to the memory address of array element R, 1, will give the memory address of array element R, 3. In previous 2C programs, for calculating the equivalent resistance, we could not receive the units of the resistances through the keyboard. By declaring array of characters, also known as the string, can help in receiving the units through the keyboard, that can be used for further processing or for displaying the output result. Still the units of all three input resistances need to be the same, but that string for the units of the resistances can be input through the keyboard and stored it in the RAM memory location of an array of characters. In line 7, five character quantities put together are declared as an array of characters. As Greek alphabet characters are not available in C programming language, let us use ohm as the basic units for the resistances. There are three characters in the string ohm, namely OHM. So, minimum we need three characters to store the string ohm. Units of the resistance could be kilo ohm or mega ohm. So, we need one more character to represent K or M. Last character of the string is a null character that represents the termination or the end of the string. So, in total we need 5 characters to completely store the input string for the units of the resistances as either ohm or k ohm or m ohm. Single character quantity needs 1 byte of RAM memory. So, character array unit with 5 character elements will have 5 bytes of memory in total. Array of characters is accessible either as a string with the array name unit or as individual character elements, as unit, 0, unit, 1, unit, 2, unit, 3, unit, 4. As array of characters is the only array type that can be handled as a whole quantity called string, we need the termination character null to finalize the end of the string. In line 9. Using printf statement, 
We display the appropriate message on the monitor to let the user know that. What are the strings that can be input through the keyboard as the units for the resistances? In line 10, using percent %s, string specification in the scanf statement, the user input string through the keyboard is stored in the memory address location of the array of characters, unit. Note that, in front of the string name, no ampersand is specified. The scanf statement takes all the input characters in the string through the keyboard and store it in the memory address location allocated for the array of characters. Array name, unit itself will act as the address location of the array of characters. This is the reason, ampersand is not written in front of the string name unit. Another way to understand this is that, the input string needs the entire memory location allocated for the string and not just the very first element address location of the array of characters. Input of the string characters will terminate when user input space or tab space or enter. So, while entering string through the keyboard user should avoid inputting space or tab space until all characters of the string are input. In line 13. Using three different percent i integer specifications separated by space in scanf statement, three integers are received as input through keyboard for the resistances. Note that the address locations of the first three elements of the integer array are, namely ampersand r, 0, ampersand r, 1, ampersand r, 2, are specified as the memory address location to store the input three integers. Individual elements of an array are like variables, hence, r, 0, r, 1, r, 2, act as three different integer variables. Line 15, is the assignment statement that computes the right hand side mathematical expression and assigns that value to the left hand side variable. First three elements of the integer array are, namely r, 0, R, 1, R, 2, are used as the three integers for the resistances to compute the equivalent resistance. Left hand side integer variable R, 3, that is assigned with the equivalent resistance is also the element of the array R. Line 1718, is a printf statement that displays the output using four different percent i integer specifications for the resistances and four different percent s string specifications for the units elements of the integer array are namely r 0 r 1 r 2 are used as the integer quantities for the input resistances and r 3 is used for the computed equivalent resistance for display Note that the string name unit is used for the display of the units for all the four units of the resistances. Display of the execution of the exe file, input string for the units, followed by three resistances and final output are shown in the inset window. Resistances can be decimal float values. This C program is the float version of the previous C code using float and character arrays. In line 4, we have the define preprocessor that makes sizes for. This works as a macro that will replace wherever size appears in the C program with 4. Common mistake is adding equal sign in the define preprocessor. If by mistake written as hash define size equals 4, then equals 4 will be used for the substitution of size. In line 7, Float array R is declared to facilitate user to input float values for the resistances. Note, size defined in the preprocessor is used for the size of the one-dimensional float array within the square brackets. 4 will be substituted for size as defined in the line 4 preprocessor, and hence, 4 times 4 bytes equals 16 bytes will be allocated for the float array R. In line 8 as well, size defined in the preprocessor is used for providing the size of the one-dimensional character array unit within the square brackets. Here, 
size plus 1 will become 5 after size is substituted with 4, and hence, 5 times 1 byte equals 5 bytes will be allocated for the array of characters unit. Thus, C programming language has the feature of array index being variable that has a positive integer value, or substitution of a positive integer value through defined preprocessor, or mathematical expression that computes to a positive integer. In line 14 scanf statement, three different percent f float specifications, separated by spaces are used to receive three float inputs through the keyboard. Size defined in the preprocessor is appropriately used in the expressions for the float array R element indices. If size is substituted with 4, as defined in the preprocessor then the three array elements represented will be R, 0, R, 1, and R, 2. In line 16 assignment statement as well. Size defined in the preprocessor is appropriately used in the expressions for the float array R element indices. If size is substituted with 4, as defined in the preprocessor then the right hand side 3 array elements represented will be R, 0, R, 1, and R, 2. Left hand side float array element R will be R, 3. In line 18 19 printf statement as well. Size defined in the preprocessor is appropriately used in the expressions for the float array R element indices. Feature to have mathematical expression for the array index is quite useful in handling and processing related data. Particularly in linear algebra for handling, processing and calculating 1, 2 and multi-dimensional arrays. Display of the execution of the exe file, input string for the units followed by three resistances and final output are shown in the inset window. Circuit made of resistor inductor capacitor, in short, RLC circuit is useful as electronic filters, radio frequency tuning circuits, designing timer circuits, integrator, differentiator and many more. RLC circuit is also useful to emulate second order systems. Investigate and study control systems, analyzing signals and systems. Circuit diagram shows the RLC circuit supplied with an AC signal of frequency F. Equations for the RLC circuit parameters are available to calculate from R, L, C and F values. Let us write a C program that can calculate RLC circuit parameters after receiving the R, L. CNF values through the keyboard and display the calculated parameters on the monitor. To write the C program, we know what are all the inputs to be received from the keyboard and the parameters to be calculated using appropriate mathematical expressions, commonly known as formulas. In the formulas, we need mathematical functions like square root and inverse trigonometric functions. C programming language library math.h has all the basic mathematical functions and we include that preprocessor directive in line number 4 as hash include math.h. In line 8, necessary variables are declared to get the required amount of RAM memory allocated. Note, double float declaration is used for variables, as the values of R, L. CNF can be either too big or too small numbers. Double type declaration will allocate 8 bytes of memory for each variable. The values returned by the mathematical functions like square root, exponential, power, sine, cosine in the math.h library function are also double type. RLC circuit parameters that are computed using the variable values as double will also be double. So, all the variables are declared as double in line 8. While writing computer programs, we might not exactly know all the necessary variables that are needed for the complete implementation of the algorithm. So, to begin with, declare those variables that are required at that stage of programming and as we develop the code further, if any further necessity for new variables arises, 
then at the beginning of the function, populate their declarations. In line 9, array of characters unit is declared and initiated as string, ohm, within double quotes. When array of characters, namely the string is initiated, the number of characters is exactly known. In this case, characters ohm counts to 3 in the string, ohm. One more character at the end of the string is added as null character for the termination of the string. So, the total size of the array of characters is 4. As this size value can be calculated and available, there is no need to explicitly specify the size for the array of characters unit within the square brackets. Note, empty square brackets with the string name unit in this declaration. Specifying 4 within the square brackets is also absolutely fine. But empty square brackets or square brackets with 4, along with the string name unit is a must. Without square brackets unit will become a character variable. String unit will be allocated with 4 bytes of RAM memory for the 4 characters OHM and NULL. Lines 11 to 18 have 4 pairs of printf and scanf statements to receive the input values for R, L, C, and F as double float values. Through the printf statements, in what units the values of R, L, C and F to be input, are appropriately displayed. For the calculations of various RLC circuit parameters, the program needs these input values to be in their respective basic units. Note percent L F double float specification is used in the scan F statements, as the variables R, L, C and F are declared as double. When the user input the values of R, L, C and F through the keyboard, they will be available to calculate the RLC circuit parameters one by one using assignment statements for the formulas. Lines 20 to 33 contain all the necessary assignment statements. We will look into the details of each one of them. In assignment statement, the values for all the variables used in the right hand side mathematical expression must be available to be computed as a numerical value that will be assigned to the left hand side variable. So, when you write any assignment statement check whether the variables are declared at the beginning of the function. And also make sure that the numerical value of all the variables appearing on the right hand side of the assignment statement are available either through the input or calculated in the program earlier. Pi value is required in few RLC circuit parameters formulas. So, we declared a variable named pi to assign or calculate that. Simply. We can assign the value 3.14 to the variable pi or better explicitly calculate the double precision value for pi. In line 20 assignment statement, the inverse trigonometry function arcsine is used for that. We know that the sine value of pi over 2 equals 1. Thus, taking the arcsine value of 1 and multiplying that with 2 will yield us the pi value. Inverse trigonometric arcsine function available through the math.hc library function will return a double value. So, the pi value calculated as 2 asterisk a sine open parenthesis 1 close parenthesis will get double precision value than simple 3.14. Angular frequency omega value is required in few RLC circuit parameters formulas. So, we declared a variable named w to calculate that. In line 21 assignment statement, the angular frequency, omega equals 2 pi f is calculated using the mathematical expression 2 asterisk pi asterisk f. Values for the right hand side expression quantities 2 pi and f are all available to compute the numerical value, and that double value will be assigned to the left hand side variable w. Common mistake in writing mathematical expressions as equivalent computer programming language expressions is forgetting arithmetic operators. For example, we are so used to the formula omega equals 2 pi f, but in C assignment statement, 
it has to be written as w equals 2 asterisk pi asterisk f. In line 23 assignment statement, the inductive reactants, xl equals omega l is calculated using the mathematical expression w asterisk l. Values for the right hand side expression quantities w and l are available to compute the numerical value and the double value will be assigned to the left hand side variable xl. In line 24 assignment statement, the capacitive reactants xc equals 1 over omega c is calculated using the mathematical expression 1 slash open parenthesis w asterisk c close parenthesis. Note the use of parentheses to get the mathematical expression computed correctly. Remember the Bodmus rule for calculating the arithmetic expressions for writing correct C equivalent mathematical expressions. Values for the right hand side expression quantities W and C are available to compute the numerical value and that double value will be assigned to the left hand side variable XC. In ANCC, there is no feature or standard library function available to perform arithmetic operations of complex numbers directly. Real and imaginary parts of the complex quantities are to be computed separately, using appropriate mathematical expressions. RLC circuit impedance is a complex quantity. We have to separate the real and imaginary parts of the impedance formula and implement them in C appropriately. In line 26 assignment statement, the real part of the impedance Z equals R is written in C as ZRE equals R. Value for the right hand side expression quantity R is available to assign that double value to the left hand side variable ZRE. In line 27 assignment statement, the imaginary part of the impedance Z equals XL minus XC is calculated using the mathematical expression XL minus XC. Values for the right hand side expression quantities XL and XC are available to compute the numerical value and that double value will be assigned to the left hand side variable ZIM. In line 29 assignment statement, the magnitude of the impedance modulus z equals square root of real part of z squared plus imaginary part of z squared is calculated using the mathematical expression sqrt open parenthesis zre asterisk zre plus zim asterisk zim close parenthesis in c there is no mathematical operator for raised to the power of so squaring of a variable is written as multiplying by itself sqrt function is defined in math.h library function and it will return the double precision square root value of the parameter passed on to the sqrt function values for the right hand side expression quantities zre and zim are available to compute the numerical value and that double value will be assigned to the left hand side variable zmag in line 30 assignment statement, the phase angle of impedance Z equals arctan of imaginary part of Z over real part of Z is calculated using the mathematical expression A tan open parenthesis ZIM slash ZRE close parenthesis. Thus computed phase angle will be in the units of radians. To convert to units of degrees, a factor of 180 over pi is multiplied. Values for the right hand side expression quantities ZRE, ZIM and PI are available to compute the numerical value and that double value will be assigned to the left hand side variable ZANG. In line 32 assignment statement, resonant frequency FRES equals 1 over 2 pi square root of LC is calculated using the mathematical expression 1 slash open parenthesis 2 asterisk pi asterisk sqrt open parenthesis L asterisk C close parenthesis close parenthesis parentheses are used as required to write the correct mathematical expression
Values for the right hand side expression quantities pi L and C are available to compute the numerical value and that double value will be assigned to the left hand side variable FRES. In line 33 assignment statement, quality factor Q equals 1 over R multiplied with square root of L over C is calculated using the mathematical expression open parenthesis 1 slash R close parenthesis asterisk SQRT open parenthesis L slash C close parenthesis. Parentheses are used as required to write the correct mathematical expression. Values for the right hand side expression quantities R, L, and C R. Available to compute the numerical value and that double value will be assigned to the left hand side variable Q. In lines 35 to 42 printf statements are written for displaying the calculated RLC circuit parameters on the monitor. In lines 36 to 39 and 41 percent points to LF double specifications are used to display two decimal places numbers. In lines 40 and 42 percent LF double specifications are used to display default six decimal places numbers. In line 38 percent plus point two LF double specification is used to display sign of the number irrespective of whether it is positive or negative for the imaginary part of the impedance complex quantity. In lines 36 to 39, string named unit, which is the array of characters declared and initiated in line 9 as ohm is appropriately utilized using percent s string specifications. The input values for R L, C and F are in their respective basic units, so the computed RLC circuit parameters like reactances, impedance and the magnitude of the impedance are all of the same units, ohm. So, having a string for the unit ohm becomes quite handy to use to wherever necessary in the program. If needed, we could declare and initiate other units, degrees and hertz as two separate strings at the beginning of the main function. Display of the execution of the exe file, input R, L, C and F values in their basic units and final output are shown in the inset window. With the help of previous C programs for resistors connected in series and RLC circuit, we looked into arithmetic operators like plus for addition, minus for subtraction, asterisk for multiplication, slash for division, assignment statement, one-dimensional arrays, define preprocessor directive and use of mathematical functions available in math.h header library file. Through this example C program, let us look into two-dimensional arrays also called the matrix, remainder arithmetic operator, arithmetic assignment statements, Post and pre incremental and decremental arithmetic operators. This C program is written to receive an integer input through the keyboard. For instance, 4. Divide that integer by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, one after another to assign the quotients and remainders of the divisions as the first and second column elements of a two dimensional array. For example, if the input integer is 4, then the quotients after dividing 4 by 1 to 5 will be respectively 42110. Remainders after dividing 4 by 1 to 5 will be respectively 00104. In C, remainder arithmetic operator is percent. Note that the matrix A elements having the appropriate row and column indices from 0, 0, through 4, 1. In the two-dimensional array elements, the first column is assigned with the computed quotient through C expressions with slash division arithmetic operator. And the second column is assigned with the computed remainders through C expressions with percent remainder arithmetic operator. The input integer is expressed as the quotient multiplied by the divisor and then added with the reminder. Lines 4 to 7 
are defined preprocessor directive that define required parameters in the C program. As this program divides the input integer by 5 integers from 1 to 5, the two-dimensional array size required is 5 rows and 2 columns. Matrix row size 5 is fixed by the number of divisions, defined as row, and matrix column size is fixed as 2. First column is for storing the quotients and second column is for the remainders, defined as col. For conveniently accessing the first column for the quotients, quo is defined as 0, and for accessing the second column for the reminders, rem is defined as 1. Remember the define preprocessor is not an assignment statement and it works as a substitution macro according to the defined quantity. In line 11, integer variable i is declared for storing the keyboard input integer, and j is for storing the running variable 1 to 5 for the divisor values. In line 12, two-dimensional integer array a is declared and initiated with all elements value as 0. Note, two square brackets are used to specify the size of the row and column. Multidimensional arrays will have as many square brackets as to specify the array size for all dimensions. 5 rows and 2 columns will make 10 integer elements for the matrix A, that needs 40 bytes of RAM memory in total. Also note that within the braces single zero is used to initiate all 10 elements of the matrix A as zeros. Printf and scanf statements pair in line 14 and 15 is used to inform the user and to get an integer through the keyboard and store it in the memory address location of integer variable i. Assignment statement and line 17 assigns the first divisor value 1 for the running variable j. Line 18 is an assignment statement that computes the quotient of i divided by j and assigns that integer value to the 0, 0 element of matrix a. Line 19 is an assignment statement that uses the arithmetic operator percent to compute the reminder of i divided by j and assigns that integer value to the 0, 1 element of matrix A. Line 20 printf statement displays the computed quotient value on the monitor in a user-friendly way using the division quotient stored in the 0, 0 element of matrix A. Line 21 printf statement displays the computed remainder value on the monitor in a user-friendly way using the division remainder stored in the 0, 1 element of matrix A. Line 22 printf statement displays the arithmetic expression that shows how the input integer is expressed as the quotient multiplied by the divisor and then added with the remainder value using the quotient stored in the 0, 0 element of matrix A and the remainder stored in the 0, 1 element of matrix A. Line 24 is an assignment statement that increments the value of variable J by 1. First it will read the current J value from its memory address location, add with 1 and writes that incremented value to its memory address location. Now the value of J will be 2. This value can be used to proceed with the computation of the quotient and remainder through dividing the input integer, i by j. Lines 25 to 29 is an exact replica of lines 18 to 22, to compute the quotient and remainder, and then display them on the monitor. As the value of j is 2, the divisor becomes 2 and also the row index j minus 1 that equals 1 will make use of the second row of matrix A for storing the quotient and remainder. Line 31 is an addition assignment statement that increments the value of variable j by 1. First it will read the current j value from its memory address location, add with 1 and writes that incremented value to its memory address location. It does exactly the same job as line 24 assignment statement, j equals j plus 1, but here in line 31, this is achieved through the addition assignment operator plus equals. C programming language has 5 arithmetic assignment operators, 
namely plus equals for addition assignment operator, minus equals for subtraction assignment operator, asterisk equals for multiplication assignment operator, slash equals for division assignment operator, and percent equals for remainder assignment operator. As written in line 31, all these five arithmetic assignment operators can be used like variable name followed by the chosen arithmetic assignment operator followed by the quantity. During execution, the value of the variable is read from its memory address location and the arithmetic operation that depends on the chosen arithmetic assignment operator is performed with the right hand side quantity and the resultant numerical value will be assigned to the left hand side variable. Here in line 31, J value 2 will be added with the right hand side quantity 1 and the computed value 3 will be stored in the memory address location of the variable J. Lines 32 to 36 is almost same as lines 18 to 22 or 25 to 29. To compute the quotient and remainder, and then display them on the monitor. As the value of J is 3. The divisor becomes 3 and also the row index J minus 1 that equals 2 will make use of the third row of matrix A for storing the quotient and remainder. Note in line 36, incremental operator plus plus is used, as it is written J plus plus like variable name followed by the plus plus, it is called the post incremental operator. As the value of J is 3. It will be first used for the row index to become 2 after subtraction with 1 to access the third row of the matrix A and then the J value will be incremented from 3 to 4 because of the plus plus post incremental operator. Thus, J value 4 will be available for the further computation of the quotient and remainder by the divisor value 4. Also, note that the variable j is not further used in this printf statement as it can conflict with the j++ operation. It is better to avoid the usage of a variable in a statement that has an incremental operator associated with that variable. Lines 38 to 42 is exactly same as lines 18 to 22 or 25 to 29. To compute the quotient and remainder, and then display them on the monitor. As the value of J is 4 after the post incremental operation on J and line 36, the divisor becomes 4 and the row index J minus 1 that equals 3 will make use of the fourth row of matrix A for storing the quotient and remainder. Lines 44 to 48 is almost same as lines 38 to 42. To compute the quotient and remainder, and then display them on the monitor. Note in line 44, incremental operator plus plus is used, as it is written plus plus j, like plus plus followed by the variable name, it is called the pre-incremental operator. As the value of j is 4, it will be first incremented from 4 to 5 and then used for the row index as 4 after subtraction with 1 to access the fifth row of the matrix A. With J value as 5, the divisor becomes 5 and also the row index J minus 1 that equals 4 will make use of the fifth row of matrix A for storing the quotient and remainder. Similar to post and pre-incremental operators, C programming language has post and pre-decremental operators, written as minus minus. Post and pre-decremental operators works similar to post and pre-incremental operators, except decrementing the associated integer variable value by 1. Display of the execution of the exe file, input integer 4 and final output are shown in the inset window. All the C programs examples Discussed in this lecture are provided as examples to learn about arithmetic operators, writing assignment statements and use of arrays. Try to write C programs yourself to get more practice, experience and confidence in coding computer programs. In the next lecture, we will look into how single selection if statement is useful to write C programs that can solve scientific and engineering problems.